Hey guys, now this afternoon I'm going to show you how to make Arabic coffee. Now if you've been to Turkey or you've been to Israel or, or Sharm el Sheikh, uh, this is really good. So first of all, you get the Arabic coffee. Ours is actually from the local Greek supplier. You have your portion that you would use for your filter coffee. So it's always one portion, one portion per person. Now remember, this type of coffee has a bit of a sludge in the bottom. So if you need sugar, then you put a tiny bit of sugar at this stage. So I'll put a little bit there because I'm doing two cups here. Now, the added thing, the added ingredients to taste, you don't have to do this. So the last time we were in Jerusalem, we had this and it was absolutely fantastic with a bit of cardamom, ground cardamom, only a touch. I'm talking about that much, all right? That all goes in there. Now, you've got to measure it. So we're going into smaller cups here. So we put the exact amount, two spoonfuls of coffee to two cups. Cold water, here we go, right, one. And then we go straight onto the fire with this. And I'll show you here, right. Give it a bit of a stir. I'll put it straight on the fire. And we slowly, well it will slowly come to the boil, I'll give it a bit more fire there. <clears throat> you can see all the uh, powders on the top there, but I'm standing here, I'm going to be stirring it in. And as it gets warm, it starts to um, dissolve. Now you've got to remember, with these type of coffees, um, that you get that sludge in the bottom, so... We need to slowly bring it to the boil. Now it was the Arabs who brought coffee to us in Europe. Uh, so this is the original way of doing coffee. You know, they brought it into Euro Europe during the, um, uh, the fighting that went on in the Middle Ages and we've adopted it. Um, a lot of the Crusaders were wondering why the uh, Muslim soldiers could fight through the night. It's because they were drinking coffee. Apparently so. Right, if you have a look at this, this is beginning to dissolve now. So I'll keep on stirring it. There we go. I'm stirring it again. It doesn't take long. And it reminds you of your holidays on a cold winter's morning. You don't actually need one of these pots. You can do it in a saucepan. You can see it's beginning to um, bubble up around the sides there. There we go. You can begin to hear it now as well. If you like coffee, and you've never tried this type of coffee, then I highly recommend it. And it's slowly gonna come to the boil quite a good idea, you've got to keep on stirring it. We want the sugar to dissolve. So when you're in uh, on your uh, summer holidays during the summer and you go to Turkey or North Africa, um, this, is, uh, this is really a must here. Now, what you can see what's going on now here, you've got this scum or what they sometimes refer to is creme. So it's a creme is beginning to come to the top, which also shows that it's a good coffee, particularly if you're doing like filter coffee or the cafeteria and you get that, uh, that creme that comes to the top. That's it, it's beginning to, um, you can see it's beginning to boil around the edges there. I'm stirring it again. What we do, we just bring it to the boil. Coffee doesn't take lightly to being boiled. It doesn't really like it too much. And you can see the creme is beginning to come to the top.
another few moments and um, we'll take it off the fire. So easy to do. I know it's like watching a kettle. It never boils when you're watching it. <laughs> A couple of years ago I went to Crete and uh, we had this in one of the restaurants and uh, uh, the owner showed me how to do it and I've been doing it ever since. Right, we're beginning to boil there. I'm going to, going to just take it off the fire. There, I'm giving it a bit of a stir. Right, you see that creme is still on the top there. Making sure I've got it all blended in there and slowly put it back on the fire for the last few minutes. Once it starts coming up to the boil, then we need to pour it into the little cups and let it settle for a little while. It's nearly there now. You can see it here. Oh, you can smell the coffee, you can smell the cardamom. Reminds you of the Middle East. Here we go, and now it's coming up nicely. All right, I'm gonna take it off now. There we go, off. Very carefully pour it into the cup. Now remember we get some sludge in the bottom here, so we're only going to be drinking half of this cup. That's it. So we let that settle for a little while. And that's your Arabic coffee. Enjoy.